Hey guys, it's Witty here at USMA Blade, and we are sitting around the shop tonight and want to talk to you about probably the most talked about knife on the internet, um, either in forums, Facebook, Instagram, or wherever. Uh, the Chris Reeves Benzas are the biggest conversation piece. Are they worth it? What's so great about them? What knife would you rather have? Is the Sabenza your grail knife? They're, they're just a conversation piece. We're not going to give you solutions to any of those questions today. That's not why we're here. Um, I'm here to just kind of tell you my own personal story. So what you're looking at right now are two small Sabenzas. This one is brand new, and then the one below it is mine that I bought 11 years ago. And we're going to move this one away for a minute and just talk about mine. I bought this and it was a special gift to myself well before I ever started selling knives and it was a treat to myself for hitting some business goals that I wanted to hit at the time and it happened to arrive on the exact same day that my oldest daughter was born so the knife definitely has special meaning to me but with this knife I, uh, I bought several other homes and remodeled them using this knife for basically every knife need that you could imagine doing a construction job um, including doing some pretty stupid things, which were cutting drywall uh, and rounding out and destroying the tip, which I did a, a damn good job of destroying the tip on it. But with all that work and all that abuse and everything else, this knife held up like a champ. And what I'm here to kind of show you, I have anodized this side. When I started learning to anodize, this was one of my test knives. I didn't have many with titanium. But... Uh, but anyway, what I'm here to show you is look at where that lockup sits. So if I undo it and let it lock up, that lockup sits almost exactly, sorry about that, almost exactly the same as where a brand new one sits. The lock never wore. The lock never gave. And this knife I carried exclusively for probably close to six years and abuse the ever-loving snot out of it. And I still carry it from time to time. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. It still locks up dead center. Um, has no blade play whatsoever. Uh, outside of the fact that I haven't oiled it recently, it's still smooth as butter. Um, just, just a fantastic knife. Uh, they've made some small changes over the years. Uh, flip these over and show you just the... the Cutout's a little different. The end of the blade's a little different. They no longer have a lanyard hole. They do have a pin here that they've got a lanyard on. Um, the knife, my knife is was not shorter. It's just that I rounded the tip off with, with abuse and use over the years. I've never sent this in for spa treatment. Um, so I'm kind of showing this to you guys because you, you hear a lot of times that Sabenzas are safe queens and that people don't use them. Well, truthfully, if you take this one away, outside of the rounded tip, it looks like it's probably been a safe queen and hadn't been really used. But it's been used and abused and, and loved on very hard and still looks great. And that's what makes a Sabenza a Sabenza. It, it, they just continue to function. They continue to work. They're workhorses. They're, they're your trucks that have 300,000 miles, your homes that are still standing after 200 years. That's what makes a Sabenza a Sabenza. Whether or not it's worth it, that's up to you. But if they are worth it to you, we hope you'll give us a try. Check one out at usamadeblade.com. And as always, uh, uh, we appreciate your support. Appreciate you helping us out. And if you would share this video, we'd greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great one. Thank you.